hello and welcome today we have something totally different we have the Alexander now this is made by Cadence Homes yes clearly this is a site built home <laughs> All right, so just a quick note here before we get too far into the video um, I introduced this home as the Alexander so there's if you notice there's two doors you got a left door and a right door. <laughs> so we went in the left side. That was the one I filmed. The one on the right side, that's the Alexander. The one we filmed is actually the, uh, called the Sally. It's the more expensive of all their homes. So the price that I have for you on this one, of course, I'll give you the price for the Sally. So I'll also show you the price for the uh, Alexander. Now it's not a whole lot less, but I'll show you the floor plan also at the end for the Bella, which is their least expensive one, and it's under 300K. Actually, it's under 290K starting. So anyway, with that said, let's get back to the video. You know, you guys have asked for some slightly different stuff on the channel, and I was filming at another dealer and uh, saw a billboard for these this uh, community here. Now this is a, called the Karis Community. This is in just outside of Fort Worth, Texas. It is a 525 acre community. It's gonna have three swimming pools right next to a bunch of shopping. Of course you have a fitness center, all that kind of stuff. This one is built by Cadence Homes. It is a three bedroom, two bath, or excuse me, two and a half bath home. Now, let me point out here while we're on the front, this is actually two units. They are individual homes. When built, they will be four wide total. I'll have a picture for that here. None of your walls are touching. That big section between your doors there, you've got 18 inches between your walls, plus a six inch concrete wall that runs up the center. And uh, that is supposed to allow for no noise to travel between the two homes. So now we got that out of the way. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer the questions for you. This home is going to have nine foot ceilings. And you got a nice loft upstairs. As a matter of fact, those two windows side by side right there are in your loft. See if I can kind of pan around here a little bit. There's another builder right there, but you've got a ton of these homes being built. It's gonna go way back over here. We have our one car garage. And of course, there's no garage door on it at the moment because that's where the office is at. There are two of your bedrooms right up there. And this would be your two-car garage in the other unit that's right next to you. And that one is a, I believe that was also a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. So let's uh, swing back around and head on in. So as we step on up, we've got our covered porch. It looks like an eight foot door. Like I said, there are nine foot ceilings in here. So as we walk into the front door, this is the view you're greeted with. We've got the two pendant lights over the counter. Those are all quartz counters. You will have the option for granite. 
Your vents are all in the ceiling. You have a coat closet right by your front door. So dining room separates your living room and your kitchen area. Now overall, each of these homes is about 30 foot wide and the length kind of varies depending on the floor plan that you choose to get. Of course, there's are all soft clothes on your doors and your drawers. Really deep undermount sink. We have under cabinet lighting. And this space in the back here is used as kind of an office. Now the gal that I talked to on Wednesday said you can kind of close that whole section off, make a mini office that's just kind of by itself. So that way you can go in there and do your work without being disturbed. That one's got all their supplies in it. And we're going to come back this way. And we've got your pantry area. Then behind your kitchen is your half bath. And then we're going to back into the area that would normally be your garage. That they got their office back there and I made sure I told her she wouldn't be on camera, so we're going to make sure that we don't get her on camera. <laughs> and there'll be a link to this home on the Keras website, which is the website for this whole development. So back in that area that they're using as an office would be the rest of the garage. Now we'll go check out all your bedrooms upstairs. Hey, 
Hey, we might as well do something slightly different. Hey, Raiden. So as we come up the stairs, we're greeted with the large loft area. Looks like they got it set up. You could using it as a game room. That's a lot of dominoes. Now we will check out the guest bedrooms first and then come back and get the primary. A huge linen cabinet. I would say this is just as big as the pantry was. Our laundry room is in the upper floor. So there's going to be your dryer vent and I believe it's going to run up the wall to the ceiling. The first of your guest bedrooms. Now, I know I sound a little bit different doing this home because frankly, I'm not used to doing site built homes and I'm not used to doing them with somebody in the home either. So it takes a little getting used to talking to a camera with somebody else in the home. Really nice built-ins in your closet. And into bedroom number two. Both bedrooms, these great big windows looking out. Now these both bedrooms here are on the back side of the home. Now they're looking out into the whole community area there. Since we're up high, let's see what kind of view can I get for you? Now, overall square footage on this is right about 1,537 square feet. And I will have price information for you at the end. So we have the undermount sinks in your guest bathroom. Really nice Delta faucets. And of course there's options for other colors, options for uh, different brands. Tile shower tub combo. And 
and the tile goes almost all the way to the ceiling. So as we come back out, go to the other side of the loft. So now in our primary bedroom, we have two closets actually. So before we go to the other side of the room, we will take a look at closet number one. And look how high up. You're gonna have to get yourself something so you can Reach up there and grab your clothes to hang them or to take them down. <laughs> Get you a step stool or something to put in there. And this one has got all your single racks. Nope, we do have the double racks over here also. And once again, it goes way up there. So closet space aplenty in the primary bedrooms. Both of them do, or both of those closets are the same size. Once again, we have the dual undermount sinks. So this time we get a stack of drawers in between the sinks. A water closet. I thought there might have been a cabinet in there, but I guess not. And we have the marble looking tile on the floor down here. Looks really good. And it matches the tile in your shower. And I know some of you are thinking, okay, well this is going in a big development. You're in Texas. This thing's gonna be like outrageously priced. Well, it's not. I was surprised too when I saw the price of them. I was pleasantly surprised. Let's just put it that way. So this is about a 60 inch by four foot. And how about we leave some 60 inch comments down there below letting me know what you think of the home. Now I don't know what all the options are so I can't tell you what, what options you can get, what options or, or what is optioned in this home or what isn't. But uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below and I can reach out to the builder and see if I can answer those questions for you. But while you're down there Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit the like button, and I will be back here shortly with that price information for you that's listed on the website. Thanks for watching. All right, so now I know you all want some price information on this home. So once again, this is a Cadence home. Now, as I stated at the beginning of the video, I thought I was filming the Alexander because there's two homes side by side. This was the... Uh, <clears throat> the Sally. So with that said, the Sally is the most expensive of the five options that they have. You know, and I'll throw up a floor plan of the less expensive one here for you because it starts under 290,000. So I'll show that one, which I believe is called the Bella. 
And then obviously we'll get into the price for the Sally here. Now that one is three bedroom, three bath. It does have an option to make that office in the back separate, you know, kind of closed off. So that's kind of cool. You know, there's a few options that you can do with these homes, even with these prices. Of course, you know, the more you option in, the higher the price goes. So it's nice to know that you can get a home for under 300000 and it's like 1,500 square foot or something like that. So really nice homes. You know, granted, these ones are sandwiched together, kind of condo style. So I guess we've got to get you the price. I don't want to keep you waiting too long. So, and I don't have a price as shown for this one. They just gave me the starting price. Now, this one being the, the Sally, the most expensive and the largest at over 2,000 square foot. I know I said in the beginning that this was only 1,500 square foot. This one comes in, starts at 327,000. As I said, they've got the one starting for 200 and, or under 290. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed it and make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff. Make sure you share this video with your friends and family and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.